Oh snap, David. It's a beluga. Oh snap, get up here. I thought I had a little tiny one, and he's actually a slab. Oh, there we go, David. Weird. This thing is fighting weird. Be big old crappy. What is this? Oh my god. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Got a fun two-part crappie fishing adventure for y'all today down at the local creek. Started the morning off um, with my buddy David, who is a trout guy you see us fish with from time to time. He doesn't get a whole lot of time to fish for other species besides trout, but today he had some time, so we took him down to the creek to try to get on some big creek slabs. Um, he couldn't stay all day, so once he fished as much as he could, I went back out in the afternoon and got on some more afternoon slabs. But we had a great time, caught a lot of fish, Caught them all using lures from our Colin J crappie magnet bundles, which are now back in stock on the website if you've been wanting to get one. Check them out, I'll leave them in the description below. But we specifically caught them on a few colors, which are always just really reliable for us at that spot. One of them was this one right here. The Killer Clack crappie magnet's kind of like a pro blue, kind of translucent color. And then the other, of course, was the show enough kind of your traditional kind of monkey milk type color also mixed in the black and chartreuse when it got a little bit later in the day they were eating that guy pretty good but we were pairing them up with the infamous eye hole jig heads you get the name eye hole because they have that hole kind of carved out in the eye and that is there for one reason and that is to shove it full of your favorite scent we like the crappie magnet slab bites they work really well for us we tend to lean towards the chartreuse the most seems like that's the most productive one but they have all the colors out there available we'll leave it all linked down in the video description but without further ado, let's jump right into the video and get to slaying some slabs. We hope you enjoy it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more, and we'll catch you guys down there at the creek. Let's go. First cast, baby. Big daddy. Big daddy, let's go. Let's go. Woo. Let's go. Let's go, first cast. That's a stud. That is a studly one. He bit that thing like a catfish. David, we on him. We on him. That is a really nice crappie. That's like probably almost the biggest one I've caught out here this fall. Like, no kidding. Really quality fish. We're gonna string him up. I gotta find my stringer. It's in here somewhere. First fish going on. He bit the top jig too. I don't know what color that is. What color is the top jig? Colors top jig. Show enough. Show enough crappie magnet on the top. Little guy. Little guy. Is that a crappie? It is a crappie. What? What? The secret is I use crappie magnet for crappie. Okay, so there's our second crappie of the day. It's a little black crappie. I'm gonna send him back. He's a little small. Cut. There's a big one. Psych. Okay, he might be a keeper though. He's a little bit bigger. He's big enough. There we go. Slightly larger white crappie going on the stringer. Slightly larger. That'll work. That'll work right there. There it is, David. That's what I'm talking about, babe. Oh, that's, that's what I came here for. That's all. Forget that. Yellow bass. Big Daddy. They're loaded up right there, dude. Loaded up. Drop the poles, baby. Drop the poles. Loaded up. Oh, I thought he was gonna come off. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, there, another nice slab right there, guys. That sun's trying to peek out through them clouds. We're supposed to have overcast all day. I do not want any sun. No sun today. I want it to be cloudy and keep these fish munching. Right now they're biting, so we gotta get these fish on the stringer, keep throwing them out there, keep, keep, keep the jigs wet, because they could turn off at any moment. These crappie like to bite early in the morning, though. Last year, when the water was normal level, I'm, I'm not lying, I, oh my gosh. I uh I used three the whole time. Oh, there we go, David. My man. My man on the board. Let me see that thing. You're looking trout, dude. I know. David's out here. He he I'm not gonna say verbatim what he told me, but he said basically that he hates trout fishing, he wants to give it up and become a crappie fishing guide. But he's still throwing trout stuff at him. 
And that's going on the stringer, my man. Up. Man, we're doing good this morning. I mean, if we had the slab queen on the boat, this boat would probably already be like capsizing with so many slabs. We've been fishing for a grand total of six and a half minutes, give or take five, and um, we got a nice little string already. I mean, we got we got one dinner. Oh snap! Is he bigger than I think he is? He's slightly bigger than I thought he was. Oh snap. Oh snap. Get up here. I thought I had a little tiny one and he's actually a slab. That's a slab black crappie. Let's go. That's a really nice black crappie. I think it's the biggest black crappie we've cut out of here this fall. Most of the time we catch predominantly white crappie in this area, which is still kind of weird to me how like the two species will, you know, kind of separate themselves on each end of the lake. But I ain't mad at that. He bit like right up next to the bank. We were about to move go to another spot, which we might do, but we're going to make a few more casts and not we caught this guy. Yeet. Psych. I think you should stay exactly where you're at with the bobber. Let's go, buddy. Oh. Oh. Two pound test. Mermaid. Dude, get that slab in here. What you doing? What you doing? Not today. We're releasing him into the grease in a little bit. Nice fish, dated. That's the biggest one I've ever seen. Psych. You could probably see that one from space if you looked hard enough. <laughs> That's a good slab. He's kind of hot. He, he, he came out already half cooked. That's my least favorite color. I'm glad you like it though. Oh, big daddy. I know, I was like, who got the bite? Was it me or was it you? Right by the bank. He's kind of a slab, honestly, low key. Boom. Been on the struggle bus. How long has it been? 37 minutes? Jeez. 37 minutes I caught one. That's, seems like I caught some fish since then, but maybe nothing big. But I might not have caught anything. I was retying some baits, not catching nothing. But um, it's a good slab. It's a good slab. We're back, back on track. And that's kind of slowed off. I think we definitely had a good little morning flurry, but we might have to wait a minute for him to get on that brunch program. But we can wait. Oh snap, David. It's a beluga. Another one. That's a slab too, dead gum. Let's go. Let's go. Not showing enough doing it to him. Change my retrieve speed just a little bit. I'm not letting it sink very far, but I'm reeling it extremely slow. Extremely slow. I'm trying not to impart any action. I've been kind of cracking it a lot this morning. Usually I can get by with, you know, twitching a little bit, but I figure maybe they want something really slow, really subtle. And we've caught two doing that so far. Not bad. Two good ones. Honestly, about the same as what we've been catching out here. Haven't caught any monster two-pounders out here yet this year, which I think is fascinating. But maybe there's one out here. Maybe one is in our horizon. It's a snag crappie. Yeah, dude. He thumped it. I swear. Did I get a bite or did I bite him? There we go. Fish on. Fish on. He's a runner. He's a runner. Oh, it's a yellow bass. It's a yellow bass. Starting off the afternoon with a feisty little yellow guy. I thought it was a crappie the way he thumped it. Send him back. 
There's still some yellow bass out here, guys. <laughs> what we need is some big slabs to enter this realm that I'm sitting in right now. There we go. That's a crappie. That's gotta be a crappie. Oh, big slab. Big slab. In the boat. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Whew. We started off with the yellow bass, and now we've got our first thick slab of the day. Look at that thing. Crushed the killer clack colored crappie magnet. Orange head. That's awesome. That's a nice one. Big old thick slab white crappie. I've got my stringer in here somewhere. Here it is. Here comes the choo-choo train. We got one, two, three, four, five, six clips on this thing. <laughs> Surely we can fill this thing up today. Hopefully they don't come off. Uh-oh, <laughs> got a little one on the bottom jig. They will eat the bottom jig. There is no size limit out here, as y'all know right now, but that guy's a little bit small. I don't think I'm gonna keep him. He's got a crazy, look at that eyeball. Like there's that eye, and then look at this eye. That's normal. <laughs> That's not normal. Well, black crappie. There we go. That might be a keeper. Oh yeah, he's going on the string. Not much bigger, but he's big enough to keep for sure. He came off this stick here beside me. Probably an eight incher. Not bad though, we can fry him up easy. That's two keepers. Not sure if you can see it, there's a little stick right there. And that's what he came off of. There's another stick over here too. We have been in a drought, guys. We have been in a drought. We haven't caught anything really since uh, we caught that uh, second little one that we put on the stringer. Probably been 30 minutes, honestly, but that's a good one. Really, really solid fish. It's, I think, four o'clock now. We got about an hour and 15, hour and 20 minutes left of daylight. So if they're gonna bite, they gotta start biting right now. Solid fish. There's a nice one. Another nice crappie. Always oh, thick. Megan. Oh. There we go. That's our biggest of the day. Ouch. Got the hook in my thigh. Look at that fat slab. We are running out of daylight. I just swapped. I put a different color on the bottom. And I was I was certain that that right there was gonna be on the bottom jig. I put a blackish chartreuse on the bottom. Because I hadn't been getting bit on my standard, you know, monkey milk and killer clats. But uh, to my surprise, he actually bit the top jig. It's not really surprising, but I feel like they should be biting a little bit better than what they are. I'm really starting to think that there's just maybe not a whole lot of fish left out here. Um, you know, not a whole lot. We're probably able to swim in here as the water dropped. It's blocked off now. And uh, we've caught quite a few. And I know some people have caught quite a few out here. And the people that live out here have caught quite a few. But um, we've got, we've got four, we've got three good ones. I should probably let that little one go. That little one's so small. <laughs> you don't look right on there, but we got three, three nice ones and one small one. And we still got time to improve on that. I got a sneaky suspicion that we're gonna get one of those black and chartreuse. It is a deadly color when it starts getting dark out. It's deadly in, in dark water, but I always have luck with it when it starts getting um, late in the afternoon. We're back over here in the area where I seem to do the best at. So we're just gonna kind of float around and see if we can't connect with a few more slabs. I said I've got six clips on there. We need at least two more. I honestly would like to catch three more good ones. If I catch three more good ones, I might let the little one go. Come back in here and catch them later. 
There we go. That's another keeper. That's another keeper. We're on him. Stay on there. He's on that top jig too. Maybe they wanted just one black one and one white one. Don't come off. Don't come off. Get in the boat. Oh, he's way bigger than I thought he was. He is fat. Good. Just look at the chub on that one. He's not as long as the last one I caught. The last one I caught was a turtle pod, just like real good slab. This is a good slab too. Look at that. Something else I did, whenever I put that black and chartreuse one, I actually upsized the jig head on the bottom to a 16th ounce. Just to see maybe if like a faster presentation might do it. And they, maybe that's what's getting. Maybe I needed that little bit of extra weight. But we've got four good slabs now. We got five total. We got one clip that's empty. Then we can start doubling up on it. Oh, oh, what is this? Oh my god. <gasps> I hope the camera caught that. Oh my gosh. I hooked a giant buffalo. I don't know if y'all remember, I was out here fishing with Jay not too long ago and I hooked to a giant mystery fish and it just towed me around for it towed the canoe around for a long time. And um, I eventually lost him, but I thought that it was a buffalo the whole time, and that kind of helps confirm it. That was crazy. It was a giant buffalo. Man, I hope that this... Oh, he just jumped again. Man, I hope this camera caught that. That was nuts. I thought it was snagged, and then he went blip, blip. That would have been fun. I would have fought that thing the rest of the afternoon if I had got a good hook in. Chartreuse. <laughs> yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about right there. That is a solid, solid fish. Got him on the black and chartreuse crappie magnet. I told you guys, when it gets dark, that's the one I like. And that's why we have it in our crappie bundles. Um, man, that is awesome. What a grind it has been out here. I was like not going to leave until I filled up my last clip on this stringer. And with this one, we have officially filled the stringer. Now I know what a lot of y'all are going to say. Y'all are going to say, that's not filling the stringer. You got six fish on there. And I would agree with you, that's not technically filling the stringer. But in this scenario, and under these conditions, we just filled the stringer. <laughs> that is definitely a respectable mess of fish. I wish we could have got a few more, but with as tough as it was out here and as many fish as I don't think are existing out here right now, I'll take it. And we got, like I said, I got a good mess that we can have for dinner tonight, and that's exactly what, where we're heading. So we're going to load the kayak up, catch you guys when we get back to the house.